show Mayor Bisson that his idea is a bad one. Hey everybody, Tom Tezak here. I've been a bit quiet lately on the whole Minnetoya ban Mayor Bisson has proposed of the short-term vacation rentals. Coming up in a couple weeks is our election. We just got the ballots in the mail a day or so ago. And before you fill that out, I wanted to give you our opinion of who we think would be in the best interests of the county of Maui to elect as our county council members. Now, this list of candidates was provided to me by Maui Association of Realtors, as well as I believe the Maui Chamber of Commerce. These are pro-business candidates, pro-Maui County candidates. For Waialuku, Waiehe, Waikapu District, Alice Lee is a great candidate. She uh, understands the balance between business and family and the community and tourism. In Kahului, Tasha Kama is the selection that we recommend. For upcountry, Yuki Lee Sigamura is the candidate that we definitely encourage you to check the box for. For Makawao Haiku and Paia, Noe Uu Hodgins. For South Maui, Tom Cook. For Molokai, John Pele. And for West Maui, Lauren Aquiantas. So if I mispronounce any of your names, sorry about that. You might be saying, well, what about Lanai and Hana? Well, unfortunately, they only have Ohana candidates, and Ohana candidates are the ones that are looking to reduce our economy, reduce our business, reduce our tourism, which just isn't, in my opinion, the best remedy for our island. Also, if you're looking at the Senate candidates, we recommend Sheila Walker for Senate. So hopefully this helps. I think that this is one really good way to show Mayor Bisson that his idea is a bad one. It's not good for the economy. I've spoken to several small businesses, uh, especially some restaurants that serve our island. They've told me that they're down 60 to 70% over the summer. I've spoken to rental owners who've said their clients are backing out and canceling because they, they feel that the messaging being put out is that they're not welcome on Maui. And I gotta tell you, that's just a shame. On an economy that thrives and survives on tourism, to shut our tourism industry down is just bad business and bad for everybody on the island. I'm not trying to overpopulate or bring more people than we can manage, but to have units sitting vacant, collecting no taxes, no general excise, no transient accommodation taxes, and then our residents are suffering because the businesses that they either work at or own are not getting the business from these tourists. So please check those boxes. If you have any comments, write them in below. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, we'd love to get this new council elected so that we can get through this crazy idea that Mayor Bisson had, show him that his idea was foolish and that we really love our island and we want to make it a great place for not just the people who live here, but for our guests who help support our economy. Hello everybody, I'm Tom Tezak and thanks for watching this video.